there, kids? It's math time. Are you ready? All right. So let's start. Our lesson for today is all about performing orders of operation, including addition and subtraction of small numbers. But first, let's have our past question of the day. Here's our question. After buying one kilogram of flour, Cindy had 135 pesos. If one kilogram of flour cost 65 pesos, how much money did she have from the store? Is it letter A, 250? Letter B, 200? Letter C, 150? Or letter D, 100? One minute for you to solve. Let's check your answers. Now remember, you will have to, very good, you will have to add the money to get the correct answer. So you add 135 pesos and 65 pesos. So the answer will be 200 pesos. Letter B, 200 pesos. That is the answer. So did you get that? All right. I can see that you really know now how to solve word problems. Now let's go to our topic for today. But now let's practice your mental math. You have 10 seconds to solve each of the problem. Here is the first one. 852 plus 100. Answer, 952. So you just have to add the eight and the one then copy the tens and the ones right so that's why it's 952 next 932 minus 6 926. answer 926 remember that 12 minus 6 is 6. So it means the answer here will end at 6. Then you subtract 10 to 30 and you will get 20. The answer again, 926. Let's go with the next question. Okay, now 162 minus 90, that is 
72. Remember that 9, 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. Then bring down 2. 72. Next, 628 plus 60. Answer, 688. So you just have to focus on the tenth place, which is 2 and 6. The rest, you will just copy. So the answer, 688. Next, 280 plus 600. Answer, 880. Now for this time, you will concentrate only on the hundreds place, which is 2 again and 6. 880. Next, 84 minus 7. Answer, 77. Remember our subtraction facts. 14 minus 7 is 7. So the answer for this one will end up at 7. Next, 18 plus 32. Let's start. Answer is 50. Well done. And for our last question, here is the last one. 44 minus 7. Is it equal to 37. Well done. Who got 10 out of 10? Great. For those who didn't get a perfect score, it's all right. You just need to practice, practice, practice. Okay? Well done. Let's begin our topic for today. Orders of operation. So let's start off with a simple problem. What is the sum of 347 and 129? In solving this one, remember you start off with the one place. It now, is 16. Now you have to carry. 1 over the tenth place. Then add 1 plus 4, 5 plus 2 equals 7. Well done. And then last one, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Great. Next, let's have a subtraction. What is the difference between 753 and 378? Now, just like in our edition a while ago, you start off with the ones place. 3 minus 8, it cannot be. You need to borrow from the tenth place. So 5 will become 4. And 3 will become 13. 13 minus 8 is... Well done. It's 5. Let's now go to 4 minus 7. Can be or cannot be? It cannot be. Now, remember, you have to borrow from the next place value, which is the hundreds. Now seven, we will, it will be six, and 
4 will be 14. Now, 14 minus 7, you can mentally solve that. That is, well done. It's 7. Now, last step, 6 minus 3. 6, take away 1, 2, 3. It will be 3. So, that is 375. Now, this is um, an example of simple subtraction and addition. Now, what if we have this one? 12 plus 10 minus 9. What do you think will we do first? Remember this. Start off with the operation in the left. First is to add 12 plus 10. 12 plus 10 is equal to great. That is 22. Now, once you get the first operation done, move on to the next one. Subtract 22 minus 9. 22 minus 9 is equal to great. It's 13. Now the answer is 13. In solving orders of operation involving addition and subtraction, you should solve from left going to the right. Again, from left, going to the right. Let's try again. 12 minus 8 plus 23. So where are we going to solve first? Is it 8 plus 23 or 12 minus 8? Right. We will start off with 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is equal to, right, 4. Now, continue with the next step. Add 23. 4 plus 23 is equal to, well done. You may continue counting 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 4. The answer is 27. Now let's start off with the next one. 27. Answer is 27. That is our final answer. So 12 minus 8 plus 23 is equal to 27. Let's try one more time. 13 minus 3 plus 15. Again, start off with the operation in the left. 13 minus 3. 13 minus 3 is equal to? Well done. That is 10. Now add it with 15 and you will get 25. So that is our final answers. Well done. You did it. Was that easy? Of course. You just have to follow the steps in solving. Now let's try one more time. But this time, it's your turn to practice. Okay, let's solve. 14 plus 16, that will be 30. Now subtract 10, and you will get the answer. Let's try again. 
one more time. Okay, let's check your answers. 20 minus 15, that will be 5. Plus 30, you will get the answer of 35. Let's start again. Okay, what is our answer? 12 plus 15, that will be, that will be, it's 27. Then subtract 9, you will get the answer of, right, it's 18. Well done. Okay. So now that you know that, let's try to have your activity. Okay, but let's answer this. How to perform order of operations involving addition and subtraction of whole numbers? Hmm. How you have to start solving from left to right. Again, from left to right. That clear? Okay, well done. Now for your activity, you will be, here's the instruction. First, log in to Genio. Second, locate your Q2 what course. Third is to look for Q2 week 3 day 2 FLD. And next is to click the extend nearby. And lastly, click the link and do the activity climb to the top. Now remember this. Before you can go to the activity, you will have to type your section, then last name, as your name in the activity. Here's what you will first see before you go to our lesson or to your activity climb to the top. Okay, so we, you will just write your section and your last name. So here is an example. Tudi Vineza. Okay, and that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. And I hope that you will practice, practice, practice in order to be good at math. Nice to see you, and I will be seeing you again next week. Goodbye and thank you.